the darkness glows in the blue night moon. We're ready to take you to the next race here on the JBL Grand Prix. Hello everyone and welcome to the Scaling 10 Speedway Grand Prix. Home track for the Speedstar Skeletons here in the darkness grave. We're ready to see who will win race number 6 for the JBL Grand Prix. Of course, as per usual, the Sweet Dandelions, they will be the first team to go as they, down in the order in last, will have to go first and make a fire for the chance. Leaders once again, they will last. Let's see who will win this scary, spooky and satisfying race. For the Speedstar Skeletons home, gets underway right now. First up, as mentioned before, Q1. Sweet and Dandelions. And now on to the actual race. Qualifying number one is underway. Sorry for uh, the weird sounds at the start. As you go through the track, you can see here the pipe section leading you to the gravity track. So through the slaloming section. Not as slalomy as the last course. And you do the straight into the lights that you want to avoid, preferably. So you can make it as fast as you can. And as per usual from the Sweet Dandelions, Speed was never an option. Not a good time here, 23.34, far below the average. Let's see, Lim for Team Lemonade up next onto the course. His team started the season in second place, fallen all the way down to 15th. Let's see if they can recover in the last three races of the season and potentially make a title charge. Again, every single team can still win it. Let's see. Team Lemonade have got, as at the start, 1880 is their time to beat for now. 14 teams still have to outdo this time. Let's see if anyone can. Up next, Serpentine. For the streaming Serpents, hosts of the previous race, getting underway right now, onto the coast, through the pipe, onto the gravity track section. And run so far. A bit bumpy, a bit slow, and the gravity tracks got stuck there for a little while, but still fast enough to take the lead. 1842 in this very spooky, very fast track. You can see here, this is one of the longest tracks we've had so far in this season, as midnight is ready to go next. Already hard to see here in the dark and dimming lights. So the darkest team we've got will have a hard time going around the course, of course. Camouflaging themselves with the track, but still easy enough to tell and easy enough to run as a 1766 takes the lead so far. Knights of Night up to first in Q1. Let's see if they can hold. As up next, Nova for the Gamma Rays. Not nearly as impressive so far as they were in the Consolation Cup. But let's see. They still have time to recover, of course. And Nova cleanly around the gravity track section. Decent time so far. Let's see. Oh, a bump against the light. And that costs them time. 19.25. Fourth so far out of five. A downfall might be on the way for them. Grave for the home team. For the chant of the crowd. Listen to the roar. Listen to them. Trying to push their member forward. Sweet star skeleton. They come to the finish and it's a great time. The second best time so far, 17.71. A bit of a rough bump right at the end against the light cost the first. But it's still good enough so far, quite far ahead of the rest. As the Golden Scarabs up next with Rune, ready to go. Had one good race where they won, but otherwise not much else so far from the Scarabs. Definitely the lesser of the two new-ish teams. The other one, of course, being the Mecha Vaya Vultures. But right now, Boon, not a good time. Only six right now out of seven. Again, beating the Sweet Dandelions should not be much of an achievement. Beating them by over four seconds is just the norm at this point. 
Well, a gig for the Whitecaps. Ready to go underway. Whitecaps underwhelming is an understatement for probably the biggest team we've got. But let's see. Maybe we can make a recovery still. Around the track. Very slow right now. A bump against the light. And this is the second worst time of the day. 2032. That's a seventh in the first half of teams. Not what you want if you're a Whitecaps fan. Again, we are finally back on the stadium after uh, what happened in the main league. A Zeb is ready to go for the Zooming Zebras. Of course, Zooming Zebras have shown potential time and time again here in JBL Country, but still yet to have the performance, yet to finish a race well. Maybe this is the one. Well, they are very slow so far. Let's see if they can recover at the end. Uh, somewhat. Not exactly the time they would have liked, and only the seventh best time so far out of nine. So they are only beating two teams. But we have to wait and see. The top seven could make a mistake. We've seen it before. Maybe we will see it again here. As Untitled Geese's Lake is ready to go next. No lake in sight outside of our dear marble here. As everything here is just a lot of gravestones and a lot of darkness. But let's see. Can a lake manage anyway? The answer is yes. 18.45, provisional fourth. Getting a lot of teams just about losing to the streaming serpents, but still good enough. At the very least for now, they look like they're gonna be safe, as the host team will make it to Q2. I have the desert with deserter next. Ooh, losing some speed, not making to make it past the corner. Let's see if we can bring it back in the gravity track section. Not really, no, they're losing even more speed. Very slow right now, this might be worse than the Sweet Dandelions, let's see, losing more speed, but it's still faster, 21, 85, what the heck did the Sweet Dandelions do to still lose to this by about a second and a half, as the Eye of the Desert obviously will not make it to Q2. Pixel for the pixelated artists, seeing their teammates doing absolutely everything they can, three bronze medals, can Pixel do anything? It does have the most laps led back in race 1, but otherwise, nothing else. Let's see, a good time here, a bump against the light, but again a good time regardless, P3. And that is more than enough to make it to the second round of qualifying. And it does mean that the Zooming Zebras will not make it, as now only the top 4 still yet to go, as gravity for forces of nature is down onto the course, disappearing into the darkness and onto the gravity track section. And down they come around the first few turns below the gravity track section, going into the final sprint, needs to avoid the light, does not! Bumps hard against it and a 1926, that's provisional eighth, just losing to the gamma rays by a hundredth of a second. This could cost them, as only three teams are still here to go. Trans, up next to the course, translucent grass, won the second race, and have mostly been consistent since. Let's see if they can have their peak performance. Around the track, around right now. Very fast so far, Trans to the finish line, and that is the third best time we've seen so far. 17.85, easily makes it to the second round of qualifying, as now only the top two are still yet to go. John, up next, for Captain Morgan crew, ready to go around the track. Makes it into the pipe, now onto the gravity tracks. Makes it around, oh, wait, John gets stuck. John, stuck on the gravity track section, and we will have our first ever DNF in a qualifying round, John can't make it to the end of the course, and this is the worst time of the day, by technicality. Oh, Metallics up next, the chaotic purple marble itself up next, seeing whatever John just did, can we keep it together and not try to do anything funny, so from the answer is yes, but sprinting on to the end, do we have a good enough time? Yes, they do, P4. And that is enough to make it to the second round of qualifying over the Gamma Rays.
as the bottom eight have been concluded. The top eight ready to go for the free lap shootout for pole position. Knights of Night in first and our hosts in second with yet another great start in Q1. But can we keep it together for Q2? Let's see. So far the Knights of Night holding on to the lead. Midnight not letting anyone pass. Look at this. I believe it's Team Laminate with Lim in second. A big bump against the wall. And somehow Midnight keeps the lead. Somehow managing to keep first place. No, it's actually Untitled Geese in second place. It's Lake who's in second. And of course, Metallics in third. Hosts down in fourth. But now they're jumping all the way up to first. But back down they go. Knights of Night, a big burst of a bunch of marbles stuck near the pipe. Struggling to choose where everyone goes as they believe. Is this Lake or is this Lim who takes the lead? Regardless, it is Grave who takes second. And I believe, yes it is, Team Lemonade. Take the lead going into the final lap of this qualifying round. Speedstar Skeleton second, Knights of Night dropping two down to third. As we're going one final time, who will take full position? Knight. Speedstar Skeletons take the early lead. Can we keep it? Oh, somebody just made a giant burst of speed right down the track. Night Knights of Night, night onto the night. lead. Midnight night against night Grave. Night Who will take ball? Night and it is the Knights of Night. Who will take ball position here on the Skellington Speedway Grand Prix? They take back the lead and they take three points home. Speedstar Skeletons will start in second and Team Lemonade in third. The other... Five teams also sorted from fourth to eighth, and the rest of the teams also getting ready for the race tomorrow. We will see you guys then, and until then.